As Georgia loosens restrictions more, major attractions are beginning to open up all across the state tonight. WJCL's Danae Bucci joins us live now. And Danae, some museums in the area will be reopening their doors very soon. Well, that's right. These doors right behind me will be able to open up for the first time in over three months. And if you take a look behind me, signs of that are already being put in place. The pandemic induced hiatus is almost over for a major Savannah attraction. The Telfair Museums will be opening their doors once again after three months of being closed. We've had to close a number of times over the years for hurricanes, one time for a snowstorm, um, believe it or not, um, but we have never seen a closure of this length before. That means starting next Friday, you'll be able to visit the Telfair Academy, Owens Thomas House and Slave Quarters, and the Jepson Center where there will be a new exhibit that had to be put on hold after the closure. It focuses entirely on our own permanent collection and it looks at examples of American, French and German impressionism that the museum acquired in the period roughly 1906 through the 1920s. Chief Curator Courtney McNeil says they will be taking the necessary precautions to ensure everyone's safety. When visitors come to the museum, I think they're going to be able to notice a lot of the enhanced to cleaning sanitization protocols that we've put into place. So you'll be able to see all of these high touch surfaces being cleaned and disinfected regularly. And that means new modifications. So it will start at the front desk where we have plexi shields up for our front desk workers. Uh, we're requiring masks for all of the visitors to the museum and our staff. And even though the look might be a little different, the experience will be just as good. Nothing replaces that in-person experience of looking at original works of art firsthand. Um, so we're just so excited to throw open the doors of our buildings again and to be able to share our wonderful collections with the, with the public. And McNeil says that they are planning a free family weekend for Chatham County residents in July. Reporting live from Savannah, Danae Bucci, WJCL 22 News. The museum says they will keep their $20 ticket price once they do reopen.